I just finished another sketchbook. So we're gonna go through it and see times I can say um throughout this video. Hopefully it's less than last time. That's the ultimate goal here. <laughs> so let's go through it. First page is just stickers, the red bubble sticker, and then this one is my sticker, which I very much like. Aw, uh, yeah, that's in my shop, which is linked down below. First page is all my information in case it got lost. The date, which I started Whee! the 1st of December until today, which is the 13th of June. And then a self-portrait to start it off. And I draw my nose really big, but it feels correct. <laughs> and then the second page is a, a redraw of a, a lady I drew in my last sketchbook like two, two times. I think this is the third time I drew her. And I had just gotten some new watercolor pencils and so I wanted to try those out. And I, the anatomy of the face is not correct. Like her eye is not placed correctly, but I really like how this came out. And then a tester page because for some reason the third page of my sketchbook is always a tester page and I don't know why. <laughs> Then I wanted to try a purple watercolor pencil and this lady just popped up and then a butt. The beginning of the sketchbook is really slow because during December, January, I tried to sketch once a day and for whatever reason, January and December did not work for me real well on that. But this is a, I went to Chicago uh, in my last sketchbook and this is a business card of a place I went to eat up there and I forgot about it and then found it in my purse one day and so decided to stick it in there. That's a sketch that did not work out at all. This is a pamphlet for a, a flower garden that we go to occasionally and then these are some of the uh, petals from some of the trees. This was me trying to use Crayola markers like watercolor but then I just completely covered over her eye without even thinking about it so I just quit. These are some thumbnails for a piece I'm working on but I haven't touched in months. Oops. <laughs> paint swatch that I should have been smart about and drawn under but I didn't and then a waterbender sketch because I don't know I kind of like the anatomy on this one like not the arms but the body is great this was my attempt at realism you can see how well that did not go <laughs> these are just some doodles because I was having drawing me these are some ladies that I really like I really like how the anatomy came out I mean granted that curve is not but I like it. And then this one was just meant to test out this style of face. Face where it's just a dip in the nose and then straight again. There's that purple lady again. I was trying to come up with a design for her. This guy was sort of inspired by the evil guy from Baby Driver. And then I get really into drawing mouths for some reason. Mouths and teeth and really big tongues. And I love drawing those things. And so I went through a phase I drew them non-stop. I tried to draw Atomic Blonde. Did not work for me. <laughs> More mouths. Uh, I was at IHOP with my great aunt and my grandma and so I drew a lady with coffee and then I'll, I doodle. And then I found some pens and I was wasting time drawing. Started watching Riverdale so I drew a little baby Jughead because he's precious. And then Cactus and then the random lady. I feel like she kind of looks like the French girl from Atomic Blonde, but that was not what I was going for, but that that's who she reminded me of. This was a failed attempt at some art, and this was another attempt at realism. Doodles. I found a ticket in my purse, question mark, and then some leaps. Some leaps. I like this one, and these two, and that one. That was me trying to draw and that shoulder did not. That was me trying to draw and those shoulders did not. More doodles. I really like how this one came out anatomically. I didn't want to put effort into her face because I was scared I would ruin everything else, but I really like how this came out. And this was the first of January. Um, and I was at my uncle's and I drew a lady in a three-piece suit. That's a pose and that's a thing that did not work out for me. And then I got an art snacks box and I really liked the colors that came in it, but um, I did not like how that piece ended up coming out. I did a few thumbs, but I did not like the anatomy of it. So I gave up really quick. <laughs> this is Star, a doodle of Star, cause I love her. And then this is, it has its issues. The arms are too big, 
but that is the best butt I have ever drawn because I have issues drawing butts. And I like the anatomy of this from here down. <laughs> stuff. More stuff. I tried doing more gestures in this sketchbook, but these are just bad. <laughs> a fairy. A sketch. Yep. And then, like I said, January was kind of a tough month for me inspiration-wise, so a lot of pages are just talking to myself and drawing random shapes and not great stuff. This is Alu. He's my Wendigo character. I need to figure out how to draw him better because I don't know how his fur and his skull would connect. Like, that that just... I'm not sure how that concept would work in reality, so... <laughs> He's kind of tough. I have yet to draw him again after this. Doodles, but... I was out the other day and my uncle saw this and he said something about Star Trek and so now when I look at that all I can see is Star Trek so thanks John. Self chibi. It's really bad now that I look at it again. I don't remember drawing that honestly. <laughs> Some gestures. This is Doug. He's a squid man and then this is my demon character and I don't know why I did borders around this page but I just felt like doing it. I never did it in this book again, but <laughs> it worked for that page, I guess. More of that lady. I was trying uh, the Crayola Twistables for sketching, but they don't have a texture on this paper that I like. Bad page. Bad page. This was a drawing of Catching Kerosene at Instagram, and she also has a YouTube channel, so I'll try and link that up in the card. Maybe if I can, if I remember to. Yeah. And then some random elf lady, I guess. More stuff. Me. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite things in the sketchbook, which is kind of sad, isn't it? And a unicorn lady. Don't remember why I drew a unicorn lady, but I drew a unicorn lady. I drew this at dinner one night, and I really like how this came out. It's very simple, but I really like it. And then I wasted the ha bottom half of this page. And then that's me as a chibi. And now this is my icon everywhere, because it's adorable. And it works. Fail page. Ultimate fail page. This one is when I figured out my new style for drawing dreads, for one, and putting shapes behind sketches. And this stuck with me throughout the majority of the sketchbook. Just this style emphasis type thing. This was a concept that didn't work out. That was a mermaid that didn't work out. And this one I was just watching Jackass and was mindlessly doodling. This guy, I'll try and put a uh, the reference picture up here because I could not do him justice, but I saw his nose and I loved him. I have an obsession with drawing beautiful noses <laughs> and I'm trying to draw it and it did not work. But I can't do him justice, so I'll try and put the picture right here if I can. And then this one, um, I have a, a saved section on Instagram that's just pictures that inspire me that I wanna draw. And this one was of a friend um, from when I was younger and she takes a bunch of aesthetic photos and I'll try and link her Instagram some Wait, but I really like how this came out. This one is really pretty. I didn't stick with this style of lining and coloring the hair with pencil for very long, but I really like the few pieces that do have it. There's that picture. I really like this one. This one's a personal favorite from the sketchbook. It just came out. Yes. I really like the hair in this one though. I, I went off a of reference for the hair and like I went off reference for all of them, but this one I can just I feel like it's better than my usual hair and I can tell. This one I'm not happy with. I, this did not come out like the picture I referenced. That did not come out well anatomically, so I quit. And then there's this one. This one's really cute. I wish I had made her lips bigger, but I really just like her. Then, uh -huh, I started doing that same concept, but with my characters. And I have so many characters that I easily could have filled up this sketchbook plus another half of a sketchbook with just these type of things. I think I'm gonna try and restart this in my next sketchbook or continue it, something along that line. But I start going on alphabetical order. So this first one, which I'm not super happy with. Yeah. This one I didn't even finish. I just gave up on her. She's not working for me. Then there's Aggie. I like how this one came out. I wish I had added more color and shading versus just the hair, but whatever. That's Allie. I like how that one came out. This one's fine. This one's okay. I like this one. This one's great. This is the second time I've ever drawn this character. I'll try and put a comparison of what my first drawing was. Um, but I really like this one came out. And then there's Anna. <laughs> and this is Minnie. And I love them. They're creepy. More figure drawing sketches. Another character sketch. This one I love. 
I actually went in and did this one digitally and painted over this, but I really like how this came out on its own. And then there's that, and then there's B, and I wish I made that shape bigger, but oh well. This one's Barry, and I really like how this one came out. And then that did not. And then I found a channel on YouTube called Croaky Cafe, and it's basically life drawing, but timed, I guess. Like, you know, most stock images on the internet are still, they're photos, but they actually have people come in and sit down and they film them, so it's almost like watching it in real time. And so this page was me testing out different utensils that I could use for the sketching. So this was my first Croaky Cafe session, and I really love how this piece came out. This was a five minute and I really loved how this came out. I feel like the Croaky Cafe, I need to do more again. I got out of it, but it was really good for me. I felt like more Croaky Cafe with a different color pencil, more Croaky Cafe, but with markers this time. I really like these three. I feel like these three are really nice. And then I kind of like that. I feel, I wish I made it whoosh bigger. Oh. Why is this page yellow? It's kind of, that's weird. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but where the black is on here, it's yellow on this page. Yellow tinted. That's really weird. I wonder why that happened. <laughs> Moving on. This was another character sketch, um, but I went with a different, obviously, approach. But I really like how this one came out. And then, because it's marker, it bled through. And so I drew a lady with a halo, because that's what I saw when I flipped it over. The Temptress is a beer that my mom and uncle and sister sometimes get when we go out to dinner to this one place. And it has this lady just a silhouette as their logo on like the cups you get with it. And so I decided to draw her. And I really like how this came out. This is Star. And then I drew her again. And then there's another character sketch. And another character sketch that I'm not very happy with. And then that's another character sketch that I'm not happy with. Here's another character sketch. And then another character sketch. And then I started sketching in ballpoint. Ah, this was a game changer for the sketchbook. I figured out that I love drawing in a uh, pen. So I started drawing in ballpoint pen. And there is Reaper because yes. <laughs> I drew Widowmaker. And then this is Crow, but for Overwatch. And I really like how this came out. And I really like how Widowmaker came out on this page. The anatomy is perfection. And then there's a uh, Reaper. <laughs> Feel more uh, page, but meh. It's that I feel like I draw women better than I do men, but the three Age are better than her, I feel like. I love Roadhog. He's, he's my boy. <laughs> Character concept. And then I tried to draw Anna and May. Did not work. I tried to draw some anatomy. Also did not work. <laughs> and then Soldier because he's great. And then the Met Gala happened around this time. And Mia Clark, her, she looked like a queen. She was an actual princess. And I loved it. And I could not do her justice. I want to draw this outfit. She was great, okay? <laughs> I feel like I could not color this because it just isn't great, so I just added a bunch of washi tape that I felt like encompassed the feel of her outfit, and I started going washi tape crazy at this point in the sketchbook. This is Beans, or Bean. She is an accidental character creation, so now she makes an appearance a few more times in the sketchbook. This is when Mercy's pink skin came out and I loved it, so I drew it. This is Jerry. I was listening to a serial killer podcast and Jerry always likes to come into my brain when I listen to those. Pinterest reference, don't like it. This one was inspired by a song which I will put here because it's a good song and you should listen to it. This is Bean again and she was inspired by a song that I'll put here and you should listen to it. I like how this one came out. She's fun to draw because I don't have to worry about the angle of the face. I can just focus on the anatomy, which is really nice. Because <laughs> half of the stress of drawing is just the face alone and how it looks with the rest of the body. So just having this oval head that's easy to draw and then the anatomy is really relaxing. This was a memory on Facebook came up of a picture that a family friend had taken of me against a wall and I tried to draw it and it looked bad. I like how this one came out. I know I didn't do a face on it, but I love the hair. This was a hair study from a piece on Pinterest. Yep. And then this was a reference from Pinterest. 
Don't remember what that was gonna be. Ugh. This was gonna be Widowmaker, and then I feel like I messed up. And so I redrew it on this side. And then I was gonna draw, not Zarya, but somebody, and then just did not, because the arms were not working out. And then this was me trying to redesign a the outfit from one of my Overwatch characters, but did not go very far with that, my dudes. This is Malady. She's my other Overwatch character. Random lady. I like how this one came out. This lady had pink hair in the reference and so I just grabbed one of my pink pens and drew the hair on top. And I like how this one came out. This one's great. I love this. She's beautiful. And one of my friends on Instagram said she looked like a punk Kim Possible and so I'm sticking with that theme for her as a character. I have to draw her again now. <laughs> Bad page. Page I messed up on a lot. This is Bean again. And then this was me trying to figure out what Bean would look like in color. I, I'm not sure whether I want her to be a Calico or not. I'm not, I'm not digging it, so. This one, I don't know, I drew her. Bad. You know, I really like this sketch, but looking back at it, it looks like he has no neck. Oops, not great. This piece I like, but then I added a face to it and it just ruined it, so I just sticky noted it over it. Bad. More Reaper, but I failed at it, so that, no. This piece, I love, I love this piece. So much so that I actually painted it digitally and then try and link to that speed paint up in the cards. And then I did that one, and then that was a picture for my Instagram that only one person replied to. Oops, don't like that. The anatomy on this is not great. And then drew her in an outfit and her face kind of messed up, so I just put a sticky note over it. More art, more art. I really like how this one came out. I tried working on it digitally, but the face anatomy is way worse digitally than it is here. So just pretend it's really pretty. I like the shading on this. Not great. So these are actually one card that I cut in half because mom and I went and did a reptile show for a school and they sent us a thank you note. And I really like the card that they put it on. And then this one, I don't know if you can see that. Whoa. This guy, I really like. And then these, I did Tombo with this sketch and I really liked how it came out. Except for the pink skin, that was a bad idea. But <laughs> I liked using the Tombo, so I tried to do another sketch with them. I really like how this one came out. I drew this one while at dinner one day and I really love her. She's great. This was a picture, I'll try and put the picture right here, but this was a picture of somebody's face and I absolutely love the anatomy of their face. They just really struck me as inspiring and gorgeous and I tried to draw them. Obviously did not do very well. I tried drawing Catching Kerosene again, but the anatomy on this is just bleh. This was one reference that I tried drawing several times over the next few pages and the pen was not working with me here, so gave up on that. Tried drawing it again, gave up on that. So then I resorted to pencil because I was like, okay, I'm giving up too quickly because I can't fix my mistakes immediately. So once I did pencil, then I feel like I did a better job. Looking back at it, not great, but I, I, I persevered. Tried drawing uh, Tegan, did not work out for me. Found a reference, I messed up a lot here. I don't know if you can tell that. Found a reference that I really liked and used it for a star. Messed up, bleh. This was just a doodle page. I don't remember why I turned it into a doodle page, but I turned it into a doodle page. And there's a donut and a bear and a watering can shaped like a mouse. And I really like this octopus. He's really cute. I actually sort of want to cut him out and then maybe paste him onto the cover of my next sketchbook. I don't know, but he's adorable. I love him. <laughs> and then random face. And then this one I drew um, at the brewery we go to. On Thursdays, if you can hear crunching, that's my dog in the background chewing on her bone and I'm sorry. Um, but I like how, I like how this came out. This was a ram boy. Found a reference of a dude with ram horns and I liked it, so I tried to draw it. Not very well, but I tried. No. Tried a concept with soldier, did not like it. Found a reference of this lady with pretty hair, did not do her justice. I like the face and the bangs. But did not do her justice. And then for some reason I just wasted the rest of this page because I'm awful. Did not like the anatomy on this one. Went to a new day and there was this one lady working behind the counter and she was really pretty so I tried to draw her. Did not do her justice but you know. And then that cafe gave me a bunch of crow vibes like it's so cozy. 
and it makes me feel like I'm not the hot south in the middle of summer. <laughs> so it just gave me a lot of cozy crow vibes. So I drew crow and then I drew crow again and I'll try and put the reference picture for this piece right here because I love that piece, that picture. Tried drawing crow again, did not work. Tried drawing crow again, did not work. And then these are some Michael's receipts because I don't know. And then this was from the cafe and the cafe also had- Hi, well, you're not scared. The cafe also had some business cards and so I took the ones that I found aesthetically pleasing. And then this one is from a box of chocolates and I just pulled it off and taped it in there because I don't know, reasons. I tried drawing a character with her barn owl but the barn owl's legs came out too long so I gave up. Anatomically, I like this down, do not like this up. I like this one, not too great on that one. I went crazy with the pink for some reason. Did not because the crazy eyes. And then this one was that free art chunk down here a while ago. Um, one of my friends decided to ask me to draw either her or one of her characters. And so, hi, Jabelle, you're in my video. But she asked me to draw either her character or her. And so I drew her and I, this is the first and only Copic piece in this entire sketchbook. So, oops. And then I didn't touch this back page because I just really like I really like seeing how Copic pieces look from the back without all the line art and everything. So I kept that blank. Did not like how this was coming out. Uh, went back to drawing my characters. So this is, uh, and then I really liked how this piece came out. I feel like I did really well on this piece. This is Bean again. I really like Bean. She's and then one more character. And then the last page of my sketchbook is an entire letdown. Yeah, last page anxiety, so I just... And then my last page is some red bubble stickers and a Michael sticker, and it tops. So yeah, um, thank you for watching my sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed it. On to the next one!